the pup actually just struck a rabbit. Collars in it. So we're out taking the pups just for another, you know, just a, a normal, just a walk. Um, so I'm starting to run GPS collars and on them just in case they're getting at that age where they're wanting to run stuff. I mean, obviously there's no hunting season, so I can't let them run anything. It's, I, I think the first couple times you put a GPS slash, and I reckon I'm talking more about the shock and collar part of it. First time you put that on a pup it's, can be pretty crucial. I don't want mine to fear the shot and collar or fear the tone button. I've seen some dogs they'll they'll you hit the tone button and they'll either be in your lap or kind of cower down to the ground. Yeah, I think it's just the first time I've had the GPS is on these. So um, you know that'll be a good bit in the future for before they ever feel any correction from that. All the briars get you? Here, look, show the camera. That's what happens, ain't it? Sometimes the briars get you. I'll never touch the briar again. I'm sure you'll touch it sooner or later. Huh? I'm sure sooner or later you'll touch it. Hey, Dad, how long do we have to go? And that is scruffy. Which is, or my son named him Dexter, but everybody calls him Scruffy. Which is his little, it's a little mountain feist, but it kind of, we let him do whatever. He just kind of hangs out with us. He's also a young pup. Might eventually be a squirrel dog, we'll see. And easy on your legs, though. You know, I reckon I should say, I, I don't I, I didn't even think about it earlier, but Easton broke his leg or fractured it real bad there. Oh, I has been two months ago now. So, but it's, it's, he's almost back to normal. Still limps a little bit and can't really run real good, but day by day it's getting better and better. Come on, Just keep going. Here's another trail. This is the joys of son breaking his leg a couple months ago. But we still want to get in the woods. So I end up toting him. 
a bit. But that's all right. Keeps them in shape. After they get used to the tone button, and once they realize that that tone is a warning, then uh, I'll move on to where I might use that correction a time or so. And it's if I really need it. And then I'll go ahead and use it enough where they know that they did something wrong. And uh, most of the time, most of the time over the lifetime of the hounds, you very rarely ever have to use the correction again, except in extreme circumstances. My older hounds, uh, most of them ain't ever got I'm all right. a shock in probably years, honestly. And now I use the tone a good bit. And my tone is the way of calling them back in certain circumstances. I only use the tone to call them back if uh, they can hear me hollering. I don't, I don't really like using the tone unless they're within earshot of me. You gonna get that from mom? Mm -hmm. All right. You know, but me saying all that about the pups, uh, this is some of the funnest time I, I like. You start seeing, starting seeing little differences in pups. Um, little things I've already picked on this black pup. He's a good bit more, what I say is mouthier, but at the same time he'll, uh, he's already started striking rabbits out of the truck, uh, deer. I haven't had him buckle down and, and just run anything like crazy yet, but it's definitely coming, I'm sure. So, but at the same time, I've noticed, you know, they're young that it don't mean a thing, even though he's, I keep calling him a he, it's actually a she, Tori is what me and my son named her, but um, I've had the young ones like that. They'll do, you know, it looks like they're gonna be the greatest ever. And then one of the young pups that's um, not really showed any sign also, just kinda, I, I call it flip a switch, but you know, they'll, they'll just flip on and start, end up being, uh, and making a really good hound. So you never know at this age what's going to happen. I usually, I like a dog that starts, you know, a touch under a year old or a year old, but at the same time, uh, some of my really good hounds, they haven't actually, you know, some of them has been up to two years before they started really doing stuff. So I, I like to give them a little bit of time. Well, we was letting the hounds climb around on these rocks. Um, just a uh, little stuff like that just makes it easier once you do start hunting and the dogs are by themselves going through this stuff. Uh, I've had to, in the past, walk in to get young dogs and pups off just little rock piles like this where um, it wouldn't have took much. They could have they could have went 100 yards one way or the other and got around it. But they, they didn't, I reckon you say they just didn't really have the sense to do it. So, fooling with them like this before season. Uh, Kind of just makes it a little bit simpler when you do put them in the woods. So,
on camera what we've been doing. Please like this, subscribe. Bye bye.